you know, one of the few names there. Uh, Prashant Khemka is now joining us, founder of White Oak Capital Management. Uh, uh, Prashant, good to have you back on the program. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, let me just begin with, since we have you, and we'll uh, talk about your preferences and how you're thinking about 24, uh, 2024. But since uh, Vivek was talking about Bajaj Finance, and it's a well-owned, large name, are you on the bull side or the bear side, or uh, are, you, are you sitting this one out? What are your thoughts? See, as you know, Prashant, first of all, thank you for having me here. Uh, unable to talk on any particular name, uh, as you know well, historically, the team has had um, very good success in investing in financial sector, particularly private uh, financials, uh, including banks, as well as non-banking sector. And we continue to uh, remain so. So I'll leave it at that. Okay. Uh, but it, it broadly, I mean, uh, would you stick with banks or... Uh, would you be worried about unsecured and, and more regulation and more uh, sort of, you know, norms from the RBI? We've already, as Vivek was pointing out, we've had two or three uh, of these kind of uh, missives from the RBI asking generally to slow down uh, the growth in unsecured uh, loans. That seems to be the clear intent. Uh, so in the light of that, uh, what would you do? Certainly, Prashant. I think first and foremost, uh, where we are today in the market, what is the prognosis for the economy, what the market is telling about corporate earnings growth and, and hence the economic backdrop for the same. Um, and given where valuations are across sectors, I do think um, you know, uh, financials remain one of the most attractive uh, segments of the market for stock picking. Uh, financials have lagged this year as well. Uh, but I think at, at this time, uh, the risks notwithstanding, uh, across the market cap segment, be it large, mid or small, uh, financials do present several very attractive opportunities. Coming to the concerns on asset quality, yes, certain pockets, particularly the unsecured lending, uh, several companies have highlighted as a potential uh, uh, segment that can um, you know, entail uh, some risk down the line. I think the actions that RBI has undertaken over the last month or two can be, there's a positive uh, way to interpret it. Uh, the RBI has, while on one hand increased the risk weights, it also has preempted, um, you know, potential uh, bigger downsides on the balance sheets. And to that end, it is a positive. Uh, you get somewhat lower growth, but at a reduced risk level. Uh, so I think, um, you know, it is, uh, you know, on balance, a good outcome over the last two months, what actions have been taken. And while the risk remains, uh, for companies at least, we are very cognizant and very um, very much, you know, attentive to this risk in the companies that we own. And we believe uh, in those companies, at least it is well balanced. Mm. Uh, Prashant, hi, good afternoon. So if I could urge you to expand on that point, you're saying financials offer uh, a good risk reward, but that's a large universe. So what would your preference be? Would you look at private sector banks that have not moved this year? PSUs have had a much better run. Uh, or perhaps would you look at non-lenders as well? I mean, there are insurance companies, there are asset managers. Uh, and on insurance, uh, every now and then, there are lots of regulatory concerns, uh, which kind of uh, sometimes knock out the stocks. So what would your view be here? And what part of the financial landscape do you like the most? Certainly. So uh, across board, there are a lot of opportunities, Surbhi. So large private sector banks, yes, is a major uh, segment to uh, to to uh, uh, to invest in, and and we are finding very good opportunities in the large private sector bank space. Also, in the NBFCs across large, mid, small, I would say there are select opportunities. There are niche. There are first of all broad-based NBFCs who operate across uh, what are called multiple <clears throat> NBFCs, but there are also Monoline NBFCs who've done extremely well in their niche segment. So we have several investments in NBFC space. And amongst non-lenders, beyond just insurance companies, there are uh, capital market intermediaries who have uh, built over the years a very strong position uh, in, in their respective areas. And we have a good exposure in these as well. So I would say a PSUs, we are not that much exposed in the PSU, in particular the banking sector, uh, but private sector banks, NBFCs, as well as uh, capital market intermediaries, 
would be areas where we have uh, uh, found some very uh, attractive opportunities at this time. Uh, Prashant, afternoon. Rima here. So, no big exposure to PSU banks. What about PSUs in the defense segment? Uh, the current valuation is pricing in very strong order booking and uh, execution for the next five or six years. Do you think valuations, prices have run ahead of themselves? Uh, and how would you approach the defense basket? Because it's done exceedingly well in 2023. Certainly. Uh, thanks, Seema, for the question. Yes, you are right. Uh, defense basket has done very well. And, and our team has... Uh, ha has uh, found some uh, good opportunities there so far, but I do worry going forward in that segment. As you pointed out, these stocks are pricing in now a very, uh, I don't know whether it's five years or seven years or three years, but they are pricing in some robust execution and, um, you know, overall demand growth over the coming uh, one election term or more. You're right on that. Uh, so at this point for fresh allocations, uh, I think one should be very, very selective in in this space, which is, I would call more broadly, defense, railways, power, all these uh, deep cyclicals, domestic cyclicals. One should be very careful in terms of new, uh, new money deployment. There are still, you know, uh, stock-specific opportunities, no doubt, but the broad-based rally that lifted all boats in these sectors, I think, is behind us and potentially holds risks going forward. So you would be wary or selective when it comes to fresh allocation, but would you recommend profit booking? Because you did say your team has entered into many of, uh, you know, in these segments. So would you recommend yes, profit booking? So I would say over the last 12 to 24 months, these did offer some attractive entry points. Uh, and at this point in time, uh, what I see our team doing is when they find other opportunities, these are serving as source of cash. Um, and and in, in turn, you can say that is, uh, you know, uh, some bit of profit booking in these segments. Mm. Uh, uh, Prashant, uh, you know, you, you guys have bought uh, stocks in the consumer space, you know, on the retailing, uh, retailing side. <clears throat> uh, you know, you've got, you got some mid-cap small tech uh, companies. I mean, very opportunistic, right? I mean, so in a way, it's uh, the the power of themes perhaps has been overplayed in 23. I mean, that's kind of gotten done. So it's 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 uh, it's going to be very stock specific in 24. Well, certainly, Prashant, as we've discussed before, we usually try go out of our way to keep our portfolios non-thematic because we think themes are add more risk to the portfolio rather than potential for any consistent alpha. Uh, so in our portfolio right now, besides financials that we talked about, consumption would be a major area of, uh, you know, uh, investment, uh, including retail within that. Also technology, IT services, which has had a pretty tough couple of years, though last year was very good for mid-cap IT. But if you take two years in combination from the end of 21, it's been a fairly rocky ride and especially large caps have still not recovered. But overall, I think IT services represent um, a very attractive opportunity at this time as well, particularly in light of where the global economy is with uh, inflation having uh, sobered down and interest rates peaked out and corporate earnings looking, uh, looking up. So um, I would say financials, consumption, and IT services would be three segments of the market where the team has... Uh, has found most attractive opportunities in the recent past, not to take away from other sectors like healthcare, industrials, and so on, where there are always, you know, one-off opportunities uh, that we don't ignore. Okay, all right, uh, Prashant, we've run out of time, not questions, but uh, really appreciate you joining in today. Uh, All-time highs once again on the index. We wish you season's greetings. Have a fantastic end to 23, and we look forward to chatting with you in the new year. Right now, do have to take a break. We'll come back on the other side, keep tracking the market action. And uh, Amit Gupta of ICICI Securities PMS will join in for some perspective as well.
on a quarter century of excellence.